They have it, but we've never used it. We didn't use it in World War II, Korea, Vietnam, the first Gulf War, and we were fighting people that did have Those them. Those all happened before 9-11. We torture people now. We kidnap them, wiretap them. Drop deadly gas on civilians? It happened, Jim. Obviously this season, Jim spent some time on the Romney campaign. Mm -hmm. He's now back. I want to know how you really prepared for that. I'm sure you've been asked that before, but did you specifically talk to any one person or a couple people? No, you know, the, I think one thing that we're really, really fortunate to have on the set of the newsroom is that there's a lot of fact checkers, there's a lot of consultants, there's a lot of people that, that work in the political spectrum and, and that work in different media outlets. And so by the time the scripts get to us, there's there's been a lot of consultation as to, the, you know, the realism and, and the background of these things. And so we have that at our disposal and we have those people at our at our fingertips to kind of um, to, to pick their brains and talk to them about you know each story that we use on the show and so that's of great help. Okay and I understand you have a fun story about working with Aaron Sorkin on the West Wing prior oh, yeah. coming to that realization. Yeah. He didn't realize that I'd been on the West Wing for one episode when I was 18 <laughs> and uh, I had a really bad haircut and I don't blame him for not remembering me it was a long time ago he's had some other cool stuff happen to him since then. <laughs> but I never met him because he was not on set he was in LA writing the rest of the season and we were shooting it in Pittsburgh and um, so like the last day of filming season one he came running onto the set and shouting my name and I thought I had gotten in trouble or something and I was like oh god what do they do and that, that was when it, it took uh, 10 episodes of shooting uh, the first season of the newsroom for him to, to realize that that was me. Uh, he realized it though, no one told him? I think one of the writers in his writer, writer's room had mentioned it to him and then he looked it up online to, you know, to make sure. And, yeah. uh, and no, he was very complimentary of, of my teenage performance. What did he say? <laughs> he, he, was, he would just couldn't believe it. He was like, I have no idea. I had no idea that that was you. It was a memorable scene in West Wing that you yeah. did. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, I, I uh, was uh, a volunteer that helped uh, Bradley Whitford and company try and get back in, uh, in touch with their motorcade who had left them in the dust in, in rural Indiana. It's kind of a dorky kid who gets them lost. Mm -hmm.